What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for day 17 of the 25 Days of Fate. And in today's video, we are doing another first look. And this is going to be for the new 5 star Lancer, Vritra. So she is out as the new 5 star Lancer in the Santa Karna banner. So I'm going to be pulling for this banner regardless if she's good or not. Just because I want to get the craft essences for Karna so I can get through the event and farm up that and all, all that fun stuff. I'm really excited for the Santa Karna event. But this is a first look video for Vritra, so I wanna go ahead and see if she's actually a good character or not. So yeah, Ascension artwork, command card deck, two quick, two arts, one buster. So four hits on the quick, three hits on the arts, two on the buster, five on the extra attack, and three on the Noble Phantasm, which is an arts Noble Phantasm. So arts chains, okay, cool. So Ascension Artwork, Ascension 2, Ascension 3, oh that looks really cool. Ascension 4 also looks really cool. Okay, so another good 4th stage Ascension. That stage 3 Ascension Artwork looks really sick though. Alright, we'll stick with the 4th Ascension Artwork. Alright, let's take a look at stats and all that fun stuff. So 13,623 HP. 12,332 attack, so looks pretty balanced that wise. Noble Phantasm Generation 0.55, Star Absorption 88, 12.2% generation. Alright, so nothing special there. Her Noble Phantasm Generation looks pretty low, but other than that, everything else looks pretty standard. So, let's see what happens with the skills. It seems like she's an art centered servant, so. It's probably why she has lower Noble Phantasm generation, just because I'm sure she has something in there for Noble Phantasm. Anyway, first skill. Increase own Arts card effectiveness and Arts card star gather rate. So you get a 30% increase for three turns, and then a 500% increase for that one turn for the star gather rate. So it looks like you're going to be trying to go for crits on your Arts cards. 5 turn charge time as well. Okay, so not a bad first skill. Definitely feels like this is going the way I thought it was with an Art Servant. Second skill, apply Special Attack Divine to all allies for 3 turns. And also increase own Noble Phantasm Gauge by up to 30%. Okay, so what is the charge time? It's a 6 turn charge time. 30% increase for attack against Divine enemies. And then a 30% increase to the Gauge. But that's just for... It's a self battery. Okay, so 30% there. Let's see. Third skill apply guts to self one time over the course of five turns. Increase own Noble Phantasm gauge each turn for five turns, and increase Noble Phantasm strength for all allies one time over the course of five turns for 20%. So this is on a seven turn charge time, so you really don't have too much time to wait in between the, the cooldown. Let's see, increase own Noble Phantasm Gauge by up to 10% each turn. So the duration of the skill gives you a 50% increase. Your battery will give you 30%, so that's 80%. So if you land one Arts Chain, you'll be able to use a Noble Phantasm. That's only every five turns, though. It's a little low. 20% increase to strength, one Noble Phantasm over the course of five turns. Oh, excuse me, I had to yawn there for a second. Uh, self guts, 3000 HP, that's pretty good. Alright, so... Honestly speaking, I do think that she needs a really good Noble Phantasm for me to actually really want this character. Passives, nothing special there. Alright, let's see what this Noble Phantasm has in store for me. Deal damage to all enemies, so you have an AoE Noble Phantasm. Skill seal for one turn for all enemies. Decrease critical rate for all enemies by 20% for three turns. Overcharge effect. Decrease arch resistance for all enemies for three turns at a 30% state. Alright, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Noble Phantasm video before we really get into it though. <laughs> Alright, so that was a really cool Noble Phantasm, and I feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong. 
every time I say it the way she pronounced it in that video but whatever all right so yeah overall I you know compared to all the other first look videos that I've done so far she definitely seems she's definitely the one that I'm least interested in honestly uh, which is a bit of a shame considering that she's the one that I'm gonna be pulling for uh, so maybe I will not go as hard for this banner as I thought but I'm definitely gonna pull forward to get some of those CEs um, but yeah if, if I pull her okay if not I'm not really gonna worry about it too much uh, I, I really don't like this character all that much but yeah um, I don't think she's a bad character just I'm not personally interested in her that much she doesn't really have anything in my opinion that makes her stand out as a must-have character uh, most of the other characters I've done first looks for have been really unique and she just doesn't seem super unique. I guess she is like an art-centered servant with like crit for arts, which is, I, I, I don't know how unique that is right now in, J in Japan, but um, I guess that's kind of what she's going for. The divine increase to attack it doesn't seem any special. The, the MP battery, 30%, I guess that's okay. Her third skill is pretty solid, but I do think it's just going to take a little bit of time in order to to have that going now the one thing I will say though and like I'd have to sit there and test it is because she's an art servant you immediately have to think of Castoria and with the 50% or the 10% increase for five turns uh, that could definitely leave looping and MP refunds and stuff because our noble phantasm is arts uh, so there is a combo to be had there and if she can end up being a looper where you can just continuously fire off her noble phantasm then she definitely becomes a lot better in my opinion because she does have the decrease to arts resistance so you'll be able to do more damage with your arts cards and she does have a lot of support for the arts as well so in that situation then she might end up being a really good servant just because you'll have that constant increase to your your gauge and you'll have you know a bunch of other buffs in order to increase your overall arts card effectiveness so you know that's something that i have to play around with but on paper as it stands as a single character she really doesn't uh, do it for me that much but you know, if I do end up pulling her, then I will definitely try that little combination out that I just said. And I'm sure it'll work pretty well, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this first look video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I do have the links below to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and Discord. So feel free to check that out, as well as the video for the 25 Days of Fate Christmas giveaway. There's still a few more days left before that goes ahead and happens, so make sure you click that video, look at all the rules and the details for that, and hopefully I'll see you guys on Christmas for the giveaway stream. But yeah, that is it guys. Um, tomorrow's video will be the pulls for this banner, so hopefully I'll be able to get her, you know. I, I said she wasn't really that great of a character, but, you know, maybe once I get her, I'll, I'll change my tune. These are first look videos, so basically this is just like my pure honest first opinion of the character like I don't even have time to digest what I'm I'm looking at I look at it and I give my honest first opinion on the character so of course I'm gonna be wrong on a lot of these spotlights and first looks that I do because we're literally looking at this for the first time and haven't even had any time for anyone really to experiment with the character so yeah guys uh, once again that's gonna be the end of this video and I will see you guys tomorrow